How does the mind see things, hear things, feel things, sense things? Very interesting. And as I sit, being here in this silence session, and I feel that I am a part of the space. I just feel that I'm as big as a space, and it's like a no or nothingness. Just happy and grateful to be here. Just feel so much joy. But my theme I like to express today on the exploratory mind. There's a lot of wood coming flowing into my mind. There's a, a word I talk about immortal happiness. The word who I am. Am I earth? Am I stars, sky, universe? And thinking about it's not I am, it's just my name is Amon Kopera. And I am a medical doctor and just so grateful to be an author and a coach. And then I realized that my time is just right here. It's no past, no future. It's at this moment of time, at the present time. And I'm just, just excited, just so much joy to feel the energy and to be a part or to sit right here, standing here, sitting here in the space, in the place that is history. So what comes in my mind now is about the mind, about the time, about the space. About a few minutes ago that I'm sitting here and I feel the time is contracting. This minutes go very fast because the, any time I sit, close my eyes, get to the meditative state, the time go very fast, it's just like a couple of minutes. And then I was told, no, you've been close your eyes for 16 minutes. <laughs> and sometimes the time is expand. So just excited, excited about this community, about my book, just uh, 30 years experience and put together uh, this year. And all those stories and those words, those synchronicity, so all these scientists and artists, chemists, physicists right here, that talk about, I feel it's right here in the book, it's just synchronicity. That's, uh, so that just, it just look like, um, it's look like we all connected, right? All this information is, is the seed, that is the device, just the information that everyone can tap in. And I feel that not just me, because when I show this book, too many, of the scholars or the artists, they said it's eighty percent. This is their life as well. It's not just me. So I just feel grateful for this uh, consciousness here that can really be a seed to empower the shift in consciousness for the humanity. Last 30 years about like, exploring life. Don't have any reason, it's just curious. And when I think that how curiosity can take one life to explain that much, and it must be some like deep, deep reason that we did not know. And I'm not fine, not trying to find out why, because in the this, this level of consciousness, I only know that I'm curious, I just want to know. Even it's winter, 
It's just amazing that the nature gives to us or kind to us. Like it's not like I expect it will be a lot more cold and be like mean, this is like end of November would be cold and snow and we we have some sun, we have the wind, very windy, but it's if we look for that beauty we can see the beauty. Like when I see that wind, I see the flower, some movement. And I just put the gratefulness to that. And what we receive is just gratefulness. Or the greatness. <laughs> so it's not about how we put things in in order to get back. And but that's a lot of experience. Put things without expecting. And it's always come back without expecting. But it's not like an intention to put things in order to get back. So when you look at things here, so we see like a, what goes in it, what beauty and what is the, what does that mean to give the knowledge to this life? And just one word that earlier that I mentioned is fraught in my mind is immortal happiness, and it's very stick in my mind somehow. <laughs> so it could be the next topics that we talk and how to get into that how to cultivate that immortal happiness. Happiness never dies, our birthright. And each one of us can tap into that. Yeah. Can tap into that, that abundance, happiness, joyful, like each moment when I get up here. Mm -hmm.